Okay. Well, today I'm going I'm experimenting with the muffler on this generator. It is an extremely loud generator. And I'm wondering if I can't quiet that down a little. I'd also kind of like to get the muffler off of this side if possible and move it over to this side and if possible discharge out this end instead of off to one of the sides. Have it discharge out the end, maybe. Um, one option I'm playing with is I have a couple of these old rusted up, beat up old Sportster mufflers that I may use to help quiet it up. So I'm thinking about maybe trying to route the exhaust up over to that side and then through the sporty muffler or maybe through this muffler then that muffler come out here then out of this muffler from the other side over to there through the sporty muffler part of the reason I'd like to do that is kind of thinking that I'd like to this there's a good space right here for one of those uh, 110 inverter stick welders. You can mount that right in here, wired in to the control panel up here, and have stick welder built into this so that I have that no matter where I have this even if I haven't taken my welder with me where I'll camp or whatever using this generator or something breaks I have an option to fix it um, so that's one thing I was thinking about it also be nice to have a quieter when I'm camping so that's what we're investigating today I've already pulled this loose I just put it back on there to show you what it was I'm going to kind of, I think I'm going to disassemble this and first check and see if there's any packing material left in this old thing. Maybe I can uh, repack it with some new packing material and it'll be better. I do have some that I have left over from uh, modifications I did to the mufflers on the Sportster and the Honda to try and help keep them within reason. So, let's. Okay, so, after cutting it apart, or cutting the end caps off, you can see that there's no packing at all in one of these. The exhaust enters from this side into here, has to go through this perforated tube, and there's a central chamber there where it has to exit that perforated tube, come out through this baffle with four holes in it, then enter this perforated tube to get out to the outside. But nowhere in there is there any packing. So, that's one option that we have. It's adding some packing. Another option I'm considering is cutting this tube out here, cut it out, patch that end over, route it out through the end cap so it comes straight out the end and then I can route it around wherever I would like. It's not exiting the side of the muffler. I can run it out and then around easier. So if it comes out the end, I can route it straight across over to there instead of it coming out this way and having to adapt off and go off that way. Or I could turn it around and route it the other way and run it through here, through this tin area, out to the other side. But anyway, I think I'm going to try packing. What I'll probably do is do the end cap thing and then wrap all around this. Sorry, I'm doing horrible with the camera here. Today. Um, which is no big surprise to anybody who's watched my channel up to this time. What I'm thinking is maybe we'll go ahead and route it out through the end here. Fill this 
area with my packing material all the way around this pipe as I push it in that will help some and then have that running out this way cover this hole and then I can adapt with pipe off to go to the other side so I think that still gives me enough clearance with it in there to mount a small welder underneath I can put a heat shield there to keep the heat from the muffler from getting to the welder. <clears throat> so that's where I'm going to start, I think. I'm going to cut this out, drill a hole in the end cap, and go that way. Alright, so here's where we stand now. They had a plug weld on this side. And then it welded around that side. I'll try to cut away. Um, I cut a hole in the end cap. So I cut the hole in the end cap a little too big because the nearest hole saw I had was a little too big, and I don't have money to go buy any more tools right now. So, as you can see, it's going to leave me with a fair gap that I'm going to have to try and deal with. Um, and I accidentally sliced through the wall a little bit on that as I was going, so i got to patch that. I will probably patch the hole in the bottom. It will line up with that when it goes in, so I may not need to. I could probably leave it, since it's going to be butted up against that. Not sure how to deal with that for sure. But it seems to me like looking at this, if I butt that straight up against there, it's gonna rattle. It's not gonna be completely tight. It's gonna rattle. No matter what I do. So my other option is to plug that hole and make it so it sticks up enough of a gap from there that it doesn't, but that leaves this prone to vibration and busting the welds. I mean, I suppose I could put it down in there, use a stick welder to just tack it to that, and then pack it all, you know, plug these holes first, Stick that down in there, tack it into place, put the packing in, then put the end cap on and weld it in. Hope I don't burn the packing all up welding it in. It's an option. Alright, so this, I didn't have any confidence that I could even weld anything, even tack it down in there. What I did is I put a spacer in there. Got a piece of old half inch. Uh, pipe that I cut off on another project that I've placed down in there and that'll hold it's hard to see in this video but it's going to hold it up about a quarter of an inch off of that and I went ahead and welded the hole on that shut so I will tack this in place for right now just to hold it there centered. I'll grind them back off later. And then I'm going to drop this in, try and get it welded on there without burning too much through. Turns out this is all made of 18 gauge, so both parts, so at least it's consistent that way. And I don't have to worry about this being super thin and burning through. I'm going to see where we get with that. And I'm going to use this, uh, the cutout from this is going to be my cover up for that. So that's where
Not doing very well at, I'm not doing very well at managing my stick out on this round thing. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's some ugly welding. <laughs> that is some ugly welding. It's probably too close to even come out on there, but... Hello, go too slow, you burn a hole. I'll grind those down, smooth them out a little bit. Those are ugly. Really ugly. Okay, so... Be careful, this piece is a little worn. Um, ground those welds down. Ground the tacks off. Got that piece back off. I've stitched this back on. Having to be very careful so I didn't burn through on the thin edges that were created when I ground it off. So I had to tack, tack, tack. I had to tack about every, uh, I don't know, what was that, half an inch. And then kind of stitched in between. And over here there was a big gap that I had to deal with, so I got that. Not a horrible job. Not the prettiest in the world, but not horrible. Ground these down because they looked so horrible. I had ground those down a ways and then I welded around the inside too for extra reinforcement so that doesn't vibrate free since now it's only going to be hanging by this. Now I got to get the packing in the end and then wrap packing all around that piece there and then stuff it down in there and then tack it on and stitch it closed. That's where we're at right now. Okay, well evidently I used more packing on the Harley than I thought I did because that's all I had left but that'll work. At least it's something. And uh, I'll probably actually wrap it around this and band it around this so that it's uh, a little more dense and more thorough. Put two layers, one that way, one the other way, and tie it down. Okay, so there's the packing in place around the outlet holes. Tied down. Now this is going to go back on there. Well, there's that. Kind of the same process as last time. Tack, 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 and then stitch it on short welds at a time. I don't know if you can hear about down on this end. I must have stubbed off a piece of wire inside, so that's going to be a little buzzy. But, that's the new configuration for the exhaust. Cool off a little bit, bolt it back on, and see what happens. Alright, well it's on, and I've test fired it. The volume's no better. Well, maybe marginally tamer. A little more mellow, but it's still loud as heck. So, we will have to work on building some pipe to go around the other side now. And run it through sporty muffler, I think. But that's a project for another day because I've exhausted all my time here today.